Welcome to Gaming with Sefsama. Today we will be playing Chrono Trigger for the PlayStation 1. So this is the character design that I that I've been been attached to recently. What do you sort of think? Everyone at work thought this was really cool as well. Time for some Chrono Trigger. Wow, wasn't that something? What a way to start your game. And here we are. Chrono. Trigger. This game was created by Hironobu Sakaguchi, Yuji Hori, and Akira Toriyama, the Dream Team. So this game should be enjoyed this way on the PlayStation 1. I would like to uh, address the elephant in the room, and that is uh, the Super Nintendo version that it was released on. But that was in, I believe it's in 1994. I have a theory that would make a lot of sense. At this time, Square was fed up with Nintendo and their abusive and manipulative ways. And so, they wanted to uh, get away from Nintendo as soon as possible and they created Chrono Trigger to be a launch title for the PlayStation 1. But unfortunately, Nintendo forced them to release Chrono Trigger on the Super Nintendo. So, uh, of course, they had to uh, remove things because that's what they do to other developers. They force them to add things to their games that they don't want. Good thing is that they released Chrono Trigger for the PlayStation later on and fix the game so it's actually good and it has the cool anime cutscenes as you see which is not available for the Super Nintendo so there you go Nintendo fanboys you are getting you you don't have the uh, the better version after all uh, we PlayStation fan gets to uh, gets to enjoy the proper version that was always meant to be I want to show you Swordlings the game and I am excited to show you what it's like. When it comes to naming your character, you should never name your, your character in a JRPG. He already has a name, Chrono. And uh, changing the name of the main character means that you are interfering with the story that the developers are trying to make. Sakaguchi-san and Hori-san and Toriyama-san put their heart and soul into creating this name, Chrono. And so you shouldn't Re rename the character. Never. And none of the other characters either. I'm sure this was something that was a leftover from the Super Nintendo version and they couldn't remove it from this version or, or it was just not enough time to remove it. Here we are. Now first of all the graphics are amazing. Now as you can see from the storytelling you can tell that there's some kind of festival going on already which is uh, which is great chrono chrono good morning chrono come on sleepyhead get up wow this is great writing so far ah lean spell makes such beautiful music already you can tell that this is this is going to be something special you were so excited uh, about the millennial fair that you didn't sleep well did you I want you to behave yourself today. Of course, mom. Chrono is a teenager. Uh, it's not specifically told in the game how old Chrono is, but I would uh, I would guess he is around 15, 16 years old. Like every great protagonist, they, they need to be young because uh, it relates so much more to ev everyone. Finally, by the way, you that inventor friend of yours. Oh, you know. Oh dear, I have. I've forgotten her name. Mom, come on! Okay, so this is another thing that I'm sure some of you Nintendo fanboys are going to uh, bring up. Some people and Westerners are complaining that the loading times are very slow in this version. And I don't understand this, uh, this complaint. You get to spend more time in Chrono Trigger, one of the best games you've ever played. Why would you complain about that? It's so typical of Nintendo fanboys to want to rush through games, even those that they enjoy, which is very baka. 
That is a plus to me. <laughs> you can interact with this with this Neko here. <laughs> uh, let's check out the menu though. Uh, okay, so here we have uh, uh, so here we have Chrome. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, we can't check out any of his abilities right now. But uh, we can see his equipment. Uh, wood sword. Uh, that's spoken, by the way. Which is why I brought this to, to my stream today. Uh, it is one of the weapons that uh, Chrono uses. He uses a spoken. And he will be using katana later on. And we, we will get to that. This game is a definition of immersion and you will see that this world will make you fall in love with the with the world itself and the characters and the, the gameplay we are going to lean square welcome to the millennial fair as you can see this is the year 1000 and they're celebrating 1000 years this is why uh, jrpgs are so great because you can make any kind of story or setting you want this song is really good Oh, yes. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. I come to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. <laughs> By the way, my name is... Remember, do not name the character. Yes, Mark. Mar, and you are Chrono. What a nice name. Now this character right here. So, let the battle start. We can attack. I don't think, she, no, she has nothing. Uh, so she also attacks with the, with her weapon. Oh, we got a critical hit. Wow, that was fast. This might be the first time uh, most of you experience the combat in this game. Any good JRPG has side quests. In fact, I do think that this part of the game, right here in the beginning, could be its very own game. And this isn't even the core part of the game, and still it feels like you're playing a really fun game already. Now, if you spend enough time here, you can move on, but you can keep playing at the Millennial Fair, which is another thing that's great about the game. The game doesn't force you to move on to the next part. You can just keep playing. Step right on up. Any of you have who have the time and courage, our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. All right, so this is some kind of machine that they created. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Oh wow, that was great. There we go, it worked really well. Hey Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? <laughs> Our system's on. Begin energy transfer. What is going on? What's happening? My pendant, it's... Oh. Wow, this isn't supposed to be happen, to be happening. Huh? Oh, well. Luca, where is she? What happened there? Show's over folks, let's he head along now. What is going on here? What's going on Luca, where is she? We're going to uh, find out what, what, what happened. Chrono, you're actually going to do it. What a fine lad. Yes, here we go. Now, it's, there's still a lot of mysteries here. We don't know what's going on, but we will find out soon enough. So we're going into this portal. And here is a really cool effect. Pay attention to this. Whoa. That 
That is so cool. Alright, so where are we now? This doesn't look like... Hmm, where did it put us? Whoa! Yes, they're enemies. So let's beat them up. Yes. Yes. And we leveled up. And now, let me show off the tech system. So you go to tech, and you get to choose right there. Now I get to attack all the enemies. And they're gone. Anyway, get ready. Oh! What is this? This looks very familiar, doesn't it? Isn't Lean Square supposed to be here? We got truce in? Yes, that is right, my swordies. We traveled through time. It is one of the first time travel focused video games ever. This is what's so cool about open world games like this. Is that you can you can go anywhere you want. I can go check out the residence right here and talk to the people, although you don't need to. Uh, and you might you might not uh, actually there's some areas you can visit that you're not supposed to yet, but you can still visit them. Now we did hear them talk about Magus in uh, Yes, they're right there. The bridge uh, is being fixed because Magus's army trashed it. But until Sir Cyrus returns, we'll fight Magus's army, tooth and nail. So yes, Magus is actually the villain of this uh, well this section of the story. And he actually joins your party later after Chrono dies. Halt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magus's troopers? Queen Lean. Hold on a second. I recognize that one. Show your manners. This is a friend of mine. Yes, that's Marl. So what is she doing here? You saved our queen. You don't look that tough. What? Just look at him. Look at Kronos' uh, design. How can you not think he's tough? That's strange. Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. Help me, Chrono, I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me. Huh? What happened? Chrono. Oh, it's Luca. Hmm, it's just as I thought. I bet they mistook that girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. What? Wow, now that is a... Now that is quite the reveal. That's why they think she's the queen. Marl, that is. Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Lean. Queen Lean has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Mar looks so much like Lean that they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real queen is killed... Mar will simply disappear. There might still be time. If we can save Lean, history as we know it should remain unchanged. That's right, so we need to go save her. Now let's go into the cathedral. We haven't been in here. We want nothing but world peace. Of a piece of the world. You might like to stick around for the organ re res recital. It's a real killer. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious. Uh, I mean, delightful looking humans. Oh, what is going on here? Oh dear, it looks like you could use uh, some food and a place to rest. Oh! Well, there you go. Enemies. Okay, we got XP, tech points. Let's see if... Oh, look, I didn't learn anything. That's fine. That was close. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, who's this? Thank God, guards, and are are thou allowing the enemy in? Receiving the queen, yes. The lair is deep within. Will you accompany me? 
What should we do? Go with the frog. Yes, so now we get another party member. I just have to handle it. I mean, deal with him. What's your name? Now, here is a thing. Now, at this point in the game, uh, you get this party member called Frog. But this is one of the characters that you actually can rename. And that's because Frog is not his real name. So, what I like to do when I play this game is to name him uh, his real name, which is Glenn. He, that's his uh, real name. And you, and you should go with that uh, to experience the story the right way. Frog is just a name as a disguise, so this is his real name right here. Glenn will make it, make, it, make it more interesting in the story later on. There you go. Glenn will do. And now, this is our first proper dungeon of the game. Now with, uh, with Glenn, uh, we actually have uh, even more attack power. And he has a lot of HP as you can see. Now for now, just attack. Let's just attack. Level up. Flame toss. Okay. Luca learned a new tech and dual tech. Fire world. Yes, that's right. So you you can do dual tech and even triple tech later on, where you where two or three of your party members uh, combine their techs and do a stronger attack. Very cool system. Uh, anyone should also play Chrono Cross. It is a very, very good game. There's a lot of people who played Chrono Trigger. I assume Nintendo fanboys who refuse to play anything that isn't on a Nintendo system really hates Chrono Cross because it's on PlayStation. Which is to be expected of people like that. Uh, Chrono Cross is amazing and a great sequel. The only reason why people would be negative towards Chrono Cross would be because they, they're they don't know anything about game design and they, on, they, they only care about these, these Nintendo fanboys, they don't actually care about the games. As long as they're on a Nintendo system, they will play it, no matter what it is. Uh, even if there's genres that they don't like, they still play them because it's a Nintendo game to them. It, it is very annoying to see those people try and have a serious conversation about uh, Chrono Cross and they don't, they don't know anything about it or understand it at all. They would never listen to reason. X-Strike. Now this is a really cool uh, tech. We, yeah, uh, we will see it later. Oh, here we go. Prepare yourself, Queen Lee. It's you who should prepare yourself. How did you get in here? Glenn. Hey, did you stand back and allow us the honor? Be careful. Yeah, let's let's kill this thing. Gahaha! Ha. It's useless to fight. No one would leave here alive. Stupid frog! It's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form, change. Oh, there it is. Welcome to the first boss battle. Yakara. All right. Let's use X strike. Check this out, my swordlings. This is a really cool attack. And a lot of damage. We did it. No problem. You came to rescue me. Thank you, Glenn. Oh. There we go. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I can't recall it all. I was somewhere cold, dark and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Now we can go back to our time. But what about Glenn? That was a uh, fault of mine which endangered the Queen. I shall depart for good. Okay, so let's head back to the canyon. Uh, and we should be going back to our own time. Now. This is where you go, uh, you you go back here and back into uh, Truth Canyon. But, my sword digs, this is where we'll end it today. If I go any further, I will be spoiling the game for you swordlings. You're meant to play this game yourself. And so, this is 
uh, the part where we'll end today's Gaming with Chef Sama. But I hope you enjoyed. Remember to go and play Chrono Trigger for the PlayStation 1. It is really so good. Arigato so much for watching and I hope you swordlings have a good night, evening, morning or day. And I will talk to you later. Moshi mosh!